So this video was taken April 26, 2018, and this is my cat Kiwi giving birth to her third kitten, which will eventually be named Shade or Cake to most of you. And this is around 7 a.m. So, um, when I woke up, she was cuddling around the room, I guess, looking for a safe place to give birth in. I prepared a birthing box for her that is lined with linens. But I also had a few of these boxes, like in the video, scattered around the house just in case she doesn't choose the one that I prepared for her. And thank God I had one of these inside my room because the first time she gave birth, uh, she did it on my floor. I went outside to get some food and when I came back, there was already a kitten under her. But eventually, uh, she was able to make her way into this box and the kitten was clinging to her tail, so she was kind of dragging it. And then 20 minutes later, she gives birth to the second one. Now, I've tried to research and be as prepared as possible. But unfortunately, since, since I knew she was going to give birth around this time, I wasn't really sure the exact day or time she would do it. So I kind of panicked a little bit. And I just allowed her to continue the birthing process in this box and didn't bother disturbing any of it. So I just left her alone and I just observed and captured it on video. So after the second kitten, I was getting a little bit worried because she hasn't given birth again. And I knew that she would have a few more kittens inside her. And um, after an hour passes, she gets up, and I thought she was going to leave her kittens inside a box, but apparently she got up because she was giving birth again to Shade. And we see her here now, doing a great job cleaning her. And uh, she's also starting to eat um, the placenta and the sac that's... Uh, surrounds the kitten. Uh, the first time, she wasn't able to eat the placenta, so I have to cut it off from the first kitten. She ate a little bit of it, but not all of it, so I threw most of it away. But for the second kitten, she ate all of it, and for the third kitten, you'll be able to see that she will start um, munching on it like denari style with a horse meat and yeah it can get really really graphic so i hope you'd pre be prepared to see that eventually okay so uh now you can see that the first two kittens that were born were white kittens and the next two kittens that will be born were uh brownish ones and in here you can actually already see how Sasha's tail is a little bit broken and that's how I was able to differentiate her from Sushi, the other white kitten. Okay, so um, eventually we were uh, able to transfer her and um, line the box with linen and but this one but this box we have to throw it away because it has a lot of like blood on it and we can't really use it again or have it stay too long and um for the first i think two weeks she stayed inside my room with a setup like this i tried to transfer them like a few days later but kiwi didn't want that kind of setup to be outside because my other male cat is outside and they're not caged or anything so they just roam freely around everywhere. I could have kept her inside my tiny office but there's a lot of nooks and crannies where she tries to hide the kittens inside 
and I didn't really feel safe leaving them there, even if um, I tried to set up a live video cam. Oh wait, there you can see her eating the huge, huge placenta. So it kind of looks like liver. And she eats all of it. And it's very important for you to observe this process because um, it's not really safe for that placenta to be left inside her. You'll have to go to the vet and the vet will uh, either give you medicine so that it all flushes out or he has to do some kind of surgery, surgery to get it all out and clean it. So at this time, I was already like um, messaging my vet and um, I wanted to transfer them. I mean, I wanted to um, have her seen by the vet, but I was so afraid to, uh, what's the English term for it? I was so afraid to um, get her inside the car and just get her in transit because she's already stressed enough and uh, eventually um, she turned out okay and she hasn't been seen by the vet she probably should have been but she hasn't been seen by the vet since she gave birth but I've brought the kittens to the vet for their deworming and for their checkup before I rehomed them so so far everything is all good and uh this was two months ago, and I'm so happy that all the kittens survived, and they're now all very fat and furry, and um, I think I was able to follow the guides that was already available online and from the advices from the cat groups and on Facebook, so I have a lot uh, um, a lot of appreciation for the people who documents this stuff. So now I'm putting out this video so that future um, uh, future owners of cats would have uh, an idea how it would look like. And yeah, it looks very graphic right now because everything is so red. But actually, all that blood is actually from the placenta. The kittens themselves aren't really that bloody. So when she cleans them up, they come up pretty nicely. And I don't have to help her out in cleaning things. Cleaning the kittens. Uh, also, the great thing about it is that, as you can see, Kiwi is full of blood right now. She was able to clean all of that in around like three days. Maybe around one week. Some of her fur is still a little bit pinkish. But there wasn't really any smell. And she was very diligent in um, cleaning herself and the kittens. So... I think uh, that's the most of the video and I will be uploading more soon so thank you for watching bye